Yo, it's raining right now. They were saying it wasn't gonna rain, and they were saying it's gonna rain. They don't know, but anyways, it's raining. Check it out. I am always at peace when I'm near the water. No matter what's going on in my life. You know, like if I'm having a shitty day or whatever, or if I'm having a great day. If I just come by the water and hear the sound, it just, it, it, it relaxes me. It just makes me, you know, like, appreciate life. Not that I don't appreciate life, but truly just relax. You know, like some people that have all the stuff that they do to get relaxed. Like, right, me being right here, I'm just super relaxed right now. There's nothing like the sound of this water. Look at that. Yesterday I was talking to a lady. I said this in another video last night. And her friend got diagnosed with cancer like three weeks ago. And she was saying that her friend already lost her here. And her friend is going through chemotherapy and, and whatnot. And after hearing that, you know, it just it's definitely scary. But it just makes me want to live live my life to the fullest, if that makes any sense. You know, like I just, you don't know, you don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. You don't know what the hell's going to happen. But just hearing that, like, less than a month ago, this lady was just living her life and now she has cancer. I mean, I hope she makes it, but what if she doesn't? You know, did she really live life to her true potential? I know for a fact, and I'm just keeping a thaw out with you guys, that I'm not living life to my fullest potential. There's way more that I have to offer and there's way more that I can do. And there's way more that I want to do. You know? You know what, what would make me super happy? Like, would mean the world to me? It's like, living by water just like this. With a cabin in the woods. Just, I wouldn't need, I wouldn't need anything else. I've been... Saying uh, to my one friend, I was like, yeah, I want to move off the grid. He's like, how are you going to make a living once you do that? And honestly, I'm willing to cross that rope or cross that bridge, you know, when I get there. Because I'm not, I'm not a materialistic person. You know, I don't buy expensive clothes. You know, I'm a, I'm a very simple person. The most expensive shit that I have, clothing-wise, is nothing. Like, I bought some sneakers the other day. They were thirty dollars They were $29.99. You would never ever catch me buying hundred dollar pair of sneakers. Listen, if that's what you're into, good for you. For me personally, doesn't doesn't stuff like that doesn't appeal to me anymore. When I was younger, it used to. You know, I used to buy like super expensive stuff. I remember one winter, I spent I forgot what brand the jacket was. I spent like five hundred bucks on a winter jacket. Like I used to buy like Burberry colognes and shit, like all the latest stuff. As I get older, life just humbles me. And it, it is a blessing. But getting back to what I was saying, though, I would love to live in the woods. Not, like, insanely off-grid, but... Get me an acre, you know, with a cabin. And I, like, do gardening. If you like, if a lot of you guys watch my videos, you'll see that I, uh... That I actually just started gardening. And, like, right now, it's winter. As you can see, there's no leaves on the trees. And I'm growing kale in my garden. I have celery in my garden. I have spinach in my garden. I have broccoli in my garden. And right now I'm in shorts, right? And they're saying that today is going to be 55 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be 64. But Thursday we're supposed to get... They're saying that we're supposed to get at least 3 to 5 inches of snow. And then Friday morning is going to be freezing rain. So I'm just saying that to say this. I'm growing all the stuff that I just listed. Kale, spinach, broccoli celery all in my gar garden and it's free and it's in like the middle of winter so i know for a fact i can survive in the woods you know and i can definitely if i if i need to i can go meatless you know i don't need to eat meat right now i eat a lot of meat but if need if need be i can definitely go with meatless pause it's <laughs> keeping a thaw i'm just talking to the world to all the people that view my content, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. You know, I'm not sure where this channel is going. 
or where life is going to take me. But all the people that supported me, you know, like the little, I think right now I'm at like a little bit over 500 subscribers. That's just wild. To me, that's like a million subscribers because I realistically started uploading videos on YouTube like right after Thanksgiving last year. And I'm pretty sure, I don't even think I had like 75 subscribers back then. Anyways, let me shut up. Let you guys hear the water. It's raining right now too. Look how cool that looks in the back with all the fog. What? Yo, get me a cabin in the woods. Get away from society. Yeah, I gotta go food shopping after this. Because they're, they're talking about that storm on, on Thursday. So I definitely want to be stocked up. You know what I'm saying? God forbid I lose some power and shit. 